But what's the difference between a Starlink and a Verizon handling this type of a contract? Well, there's probably a lot of differences. I mean, Starlink, of course, has a constellation of uh, satellites that are that are very uh, useful uh, in a lot of different uh, applications. Uh, but Verizon is also a competitor, and they have a, a stake with uh, ground-based uh, and satellite-based communications. You know, my former life before I became an FAA investigator was as the assistant inspector general for the Department of Transportation. And we would do audits of FAA's air traffic modernization program. And we found problems with uh, uh, a lack of stable funding that was provided by Congress. We found problems that Elon Musk is not gonna be able to uh, to handle, certainly not within a year or two. These are very sophisticated systems. You're talking about tying together three or 4,000 air traffic control facilities. You're talking about training controllers. You're talking about trying to find a contractor and vetting that contractor to make sure they can maintain the system, have expertise in the system, can train the controllers. And uh, it just surprises me that uh, a quick decision like this could be made right after they did all that work to select Verizon, uh, all the integration involved, and now suddenly they may drop Verizon.